See? Him again. Anyway, I'm moving stuff around. And uh, for a hopefully new project along this side of the wall here. And uh, these are uh, uncovered. And I figured I'd better show these to you before I get rid of them. A couple of big crates. And, well, they're radio tubes. They're vacuum tubes. These are really, really big vacuum tubes. I call them the Sun Crushers because these were used at uh, Princeton University on the uh, Tokamak Fusion Reactor Project. These uh, tubes, uh, I don't know, I don't know anything really about the actual circuit, but these were used to generate the gigantic uh, magnetic fields uh, that held the torus or toroidal uh, fusion core thingy together. Anyway, let's take a look at them. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to probably get rid of these fairly soon. They aren't really my sort of tube. Um, and, well, the market is shrinking for these things as solid state takes over. Let's take a look at them as soon as the cat gets out of the way. Okay. Come on, chew you. Pardon. Pardon the crappy camera work. First one. Oh, look at that thing. Shock mounted and everything. This is a 4CW300000G. Now, if you know anything about IMAX um, numbering system, you'll know that it's a tetrode, four. CW means it's a lot of ceramic construction. Oh, jeez, look at this. And uh, 300,000 actually does mean 300,000 watt uh, plate dissipation. Now, under the tape here, get you out of the picture, these are the inlets and outlets for the water cooling. Get out of here. There we go. And yes, this thing really does run that hot. And uh, you need to cool these things or you will burn it up just like an engine. Now, unfortunately, I don't have much data on this. It's also apparently called 9000. Uh, that's probably like an RMA number. I don't have much data on it. I can't find data on the web for this. Uh, I found uh, some stuff in an old broadcast engineering um, magazine, a mention, and that's about it. So, uh, pretty neat. Uh, all the fun stuff, uh, well, the connections really, electrical connections, are underneath. This is actually just a shock-mounted custom crate. So uh, the red thing is actually the tube. This is just the mount. And uh, it uses the special socket, and no, I don't have the socket. Um, so, okay, that's one of them. Let's step it up. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. Once again, part of the crummy... Oh, I should probably show you this nice sign they put on here. This is the world's most powerful radio tube. And maybe, maybe, this is a slightly different one. This is an 8974. Um, bigger. Yes, it's even bigger. This one... Let me get my uh, little notes here. This one actually is considerably more powerful. And, oh, if you want to... I did, I did get data on this because the data sheet is available on this. It does weigh 175 pounds, just the tube, not the crate. Um, yeah, this... this you can, you can do a megawatt through this. Uh, just looking at the some specs here. The filament... Uh, I believe it's a three-phase filament, 16.3 volts at 640 amps. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, you can run these things up to about 30 megs. Um, the plate voltage, 20 kilovolts. And you, you're talking nearly 100 amps at that point. 
And uh, just to give you an idea, oh yeah, and the, the red caps here, once again, for the cooling water. Uh, got a note here. Blah, blah, blah. This is a, these were apparently operating spares on, on the reactor. Um, you need to push 300 gallons a minute through this thing. You can see it's kind of nice trash can look on it. And a lifting eye. Um, these things are a real pain in the neck to get out of the crate, so I'm not going to bother. But yeah, massive tube. You know, most people have seen some of the big tubes that IMAX made, you know, the, the 5,000 watt. Maybe some people have seen the 50,000 watt tubes, but not too many people have seen tubes that are this big. Like I said, I'm going to get rid of these probably. I may trade them off. Um... Maybe, uh, I don't know, it's a long shot, but maybe someone's got some neat computer stuff they want to trade me. Um, but yeah, the, the market for these things is extremely limited and it's shrinking fast because, well, solid state. You can, you can make a, uh, a redundant solid state transmitter, you know, with, with zillions of little modules that can do 10 kW each or something like that. Far more reliable, efficient. And, and cheaper probably uh, than than these things. These tubes were horribly expensive. They are still fairly expensive. Um, even if they're duds, they they are still rebuilt to this day. You can take them apart, put them back together, pump them down, and uh, put them back in a transmitter or well fusion reactor or whatever. Um, so yeah, these things are. I don't want to say not long for the world, this world, but not long for my collection. Now, um, I do have one other tube here. This is an RCA. This is a 6949 in a very interesting um, <laughs> sedan chair carrying case. It's never been opened. Look at that. It's still got the uh, tag. Um, this uh, came out of um, um, a particle accelerator. Um, Los Alamos. Yes, that's right. Los Alamos. This came out of the black hole. And never been used. Still in the plastic. Still in the crate there. Um, this one I may keep because this one is, is kind of more my, more my speed. It's more, more conventional, if you will. Um, I don't know. We'll see. And the, the, there is zero market for these the, this particular number at this point. Uh, long, long gone. But these... Uh, these big red IMAX still is. Still is a tiny mark. Anyway, thought I'd let you see these things uh, while they're out and about. Like I said, I'm clearing a lot of space here, a lot of changes here in, in the warehouse. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, leave them. I'll see what I can do. Like I said, I, I only have data for, for this guy, not for this guy. This if anyone has a data sheet for the 4CW300,000, this is a G. I don't know what the G, you know, it's a suffix. I don't know what the differences are. Uh, I'd like to have it, uh, just so I know. All righty, then. Okay, the cats have calmed down. They're out of the picture. Okay. Leave a like if you like it. Maybe subscribe. Maybe watch some of the past videos. And I will talk to you later.